Hello, Mark Ofthart from ADM Investor Services International uh, with some thoughts this week on um, UK gilt yields and the pound and uh, the announcement that we had uh, on earlier in the week that the debt management office in the UK is going to be issuing uh, a whopping 180 billion uh, pounds worth of UK government debt um, just in the period between May and July. Uh, normally you would consider 180 billion borrowing requirement or issuance requirement, so including refinancing, to be large for a, a fiscal year, but this is going to be coming because of uh, the measures which have been undertaken um, to uh, combat the impact of the COVID-19 virus on the economy. Um, so my first um, chart today is to basically underline a point uh, about why this is probably, in, to some extent, not quite having the sort of reaction within the UK markets, particularly the gilt market, that one might perhaps uh, expect. Uh, first of all, uh, we've got a, a chart of the UK's debt maturity profile. So this is basically um, showing where um, what is what is needs to be refinanced every year, and obviously uh, the key question uh, for this uh, DMO remit for issuing that amount of debt is where are they going to issue? Uh, experience tells us from the 2008-2009 crisis that it'll more likely be shorter. Um, <clears throat> And I think that's important because that probably dictates why we're not actually seeing what one might expect to be a steepening of the UK um, guilt yield curve. Um, my second chart um, to amply dampen, demonstrate that uh, is the UK guilt 530A yield spread. Um, as one can see, um, We've basically narrowed to the lowest levels that we've had since um, the referendum back in 2016. Uh, that's instructive in many ways. In part, it reflects obviously the bank's decision to cut rates uh, down to their all time low. And it also, in, to a major extent, also reflects that they're effectively doing unlimited amount of QE, which of course is why one reason why uh, the market is probably not actually reacting that much to this issuance burst uh, simply because they know that a lot of the debt which is issued will actually be bought up uh, by the Bank of England as part of the QE process. Um, but I think the more important point is even amongst all the Brexit uncertainty that preceded the COVID-19 outbreak, uh, actually UK uh, credit metrics above all for investment grade corporate spreads, uh, which is my third chart today, um, have actually been largely insensitive to all of this. Uh, one can see that they traded in a very, very narrow range of between plus 100 and plus 150 uh, for the best part of the last four years. The spike that we saw wider is no different to the ones that we saw in the United States, and indeed the euro area in terms of credit spreads, um, as we saw the big stock market sell off in um, March. But with all the central bank measures, so we have crunched that back in. We're not quite back to the levels that we were, but certainly this is hardly premium levels. My question um, on the, all of this is, with this amount of issuance, is how much um, will uh, the DMO be effectively, or the UK Treasury, be effectively crowding out the corporate market? And finally, and this is what applies to my final chart, which is a picture of sterling dollar, it's probably going to be the case that the reaction uh, is largely going to be seen in the exchange rate above all sterling dollar, as has been the case for the past four years. Those are the thoughts for this week.